Do you know what NFTs are and how to use them? I mean, really how to use them? NFTs or non-fungible tokens are a very special type of digital assets that allows you to prove the ownership of a unique digital item. It has been extremely popular and has many applications, but especially has been used to sell arts and in-game items and any other types of uh, unique uh, assets, digital assets. So the, as the popularity of the NFTs grew over time, we decided to start a new uh, series of videos showing you how to programmatically use NFTs, how to integrate them with back for app and how to create even your own NFT marketplace if you wish to do so. So I hope you, you like this series. I hope you'll follow along with it. And today I'll show you all the steps that you have to start and install and configure to start developing your own NFT with back for app. So stay tuned. On the Ethereum network, NFTs work with the ERC721 specification. If you want to learn more about ERC721, you should go to erc721.org and here you'll find uh, all the specification and what you have to implement to be uh, com to comply with ERC721. So if you scroll down, you'll see all the methods and properties that you need to implement in order to conform with this uh, ERC721 specification. Also, we will need a way to have a test uh, net for a test net blockchain inside your computer. If you try to, use, to persist your data on the main, main net of the Ethereum network, you will end up having to pay real Ethereum, which is real money, to store your data. And we don't really want that. So we are going to go to trufflesuite.com, scroll down and download and install Ganache. And that will create a, a test net inside your own machine with 10 wallets, each one having 100 fake Ethereum that you can use for development. And this will allow you to save data without uh, using any real money. So you can use this for development for free. And we recommend that you follow this route. Also, we will need a few modules. The first one is also from the Truffle Suite. I'm here, I am at npmjs.com where I uh, search for Truffle. And this is the NPM model, module for Truffle. I'm going to copy this and here on my console, I'm going to install it, npm i truffle. This takes a couple of minutes and it, it will download truffle and everything I need to use it inside my code. With that done, we will also need to download and install truffle flattener, which is uh, a tool that con concatenates the Solidity file. Solidity is the language for smart contract development and it makes it automatically for us. So I'm going to look for truffle slash flattener and then copy this and paste here on my terminal once again. And the last module that you're going to need is Open Zeppelin. Open Zeppelin is a library for smart contract development that does a lot of stuff for us. So you search for Open Zeppelin slash contracts. I'm going to copy the installation line from here paste it in here. And now I have all the modules that I need to start developing. Last but not least, we will also need a wallet uh, to connect and store your data. So we'll be using MetaMask. And this is something that you really should take some care because if you are already a MetaMask user and is using the MetaMask plugin for Chrome to store your real crypto, you really should consider installing another browser with another MetaMask copy so you don't mess up things mixing your real crypto with your development process that we're going to see in this video series. So ideally, uh, you keep things separated. Uh, when you install the MetaMask uh, plugin for Chrome, we will end up with this little fox over here. If you click it, it will open this uh, process where you can start to create a new wallet or import wallet. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to agree to this. It will ask me for a pass password. So there we go. It will show me a little video on how to configure and secure my wallet. 
and we are ready to go. So now we have everything that we need to follow along the video series. Uh, we will go up and create a integration with back app that will allow us, allow us to save uh, NFTs directly from source code. So I really hope you'll follow along this video series and uh, I hope you like this one so far. So if, you, if this video was useful to you, please click the like button and share with a friend. And please consider subscribing to the channel as well. See you soon. Bye bye.